Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM with Operation Gamma Soul. This is a advanced supply mission. We're gonna do our tried and two strategy. The game's gonna give us enemies. We're gonna give us lost. I'm gonna abuse it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, this is assuming everything goes as well as it has in the past. Uh, we're taking out two Pioneer Sparks, our newest, Lipposado here, and Toaster. Just show them what's up. Uh, Angerbot, Lunchbox, Drac, Charles, they're all in here for obvious reasons. Enemy-wise, we're looking at Advanced Assault Troopers, Heavy Mechs, Archons, uh, Veteran Purifiers, Elite Shield Bearers, Spectre, Sectoid Abductors, Codexes, and Howlers. Now, uh, we could run into some problems. The problems could be Spectres. If, if a Spectre gets a hold of somebody, that would be actually pretty bad. Today's trivia question. Out of all all seasons we've ever done, which soldier reached 100 total kills with the fewest missions? Okay. A. Elsa Dynamite Koenig. B. Kaylee Wraith Parker. C. Rajin Dragon Darkwood. And D. Devi Deadhead Kazier. We're going back a ways in here. If you guys know this, or if you can make an educated guess on it, very impressive. Today's log comes from ShyGuy38, who writes for Boltos Yggdrasil de Greer, or Skirmisher. There's no actual audio is present for the log. Instead, there's a small Polaroid picture of Nicholas Cutter's hat perched on Boltos's log, which is currently sitting on a table in the Avengers bar. Nice tie-in with the previous one, if you're paying attention. A small note is taped to the log. Just below the hat, it reads, I made sure to get your hat back, buddy. It's in good company. The wall right next to the table has a clearly evident fifth-shaped hole in it, and what looks like a broken chair can be seen in the lower left hand of the photo. Nice, man. Very nice. We have a reliable source reporting that Advent has a resupply operation in progress in this region. They're airlifting supply crates out of a secured area. And if we move quickly, we can probably... So we're currently researching the ability the to transfer or swap PCSs. Uh, we're going to need to build a power unit in order to get enough power to unlock the psionic training. I haven't had a chance to look into the Black Ice uh, Codex Advent encryption thing, but that's another thing we need to consider. Oh, yeah! <laughs> On our way in here, I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, oh, who, who, we should have brought somebody we should have brought somebody with uh, concealment because it's nice to just get, you know, a little advantage if we can. And I forgot that we had removed that dark event. That is such a significant and welcomed and beautiful change. I am very, very happy about it. Go, go, go. Okay, Drac. Go. First crates are up ahead. So we actually in theory, should be able to position uh, fairly nicely. I wonder if I should put Drac up top, actually. That might be better. I think we will do this. Anybody else should go up top? Maybe Angerbot. Uh, lunchbox I could I could argue for as well. Um, there could be enemies back in here. That's something we should keep our eye out for. These guys have a much larger detection radius. Another consideration. Is there somebody else here? What's happening? Quiet. Oh, weird. Did you hear something? I'm actually surprised we haven't seen literally any units yet. Oh, 
Okay, lunchbox. Okay, broken windows. Let's take this path. Heading there now. Okay, raptors seeing something. Okay. That's a bit scary. That's a bit scary. Now we could put them right on here. Suppose. This is fine. Masada. You can maybe go towards the other side. Scanning. Do I mark this? This does break our concealment. Yeah. Okay, so no. They're actually backing off. Uh, that is not a small amount of enemies, but... That's a very taggable group. So we'll look to open here if we can. We're still need gonna need to get our sapper to the to the window. We need to commence the flood. Okay, lunchbox. This is his damper field. So this is personal only compared to, you know, what the other guys have. But. I'm just looking up top, I want to make sure that it's, that it is hitting both planes. We're going to see this number just start to skyrocket, I think. Okay. Uh, Drax a little too far back. It's, that's a great, great rhyme. Let's go here. Sparks, we're just going to focus with ruthless attention on the boxes. They're tagged. Those lost tags are actually showing uh, correctly. Sometimes they don't. That's really nice. We got all of them, dude. That is actually massive for us. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Scanning approach vector. This is actually insane. I'd be happy with getting this much right now. Like all everything we just did, I'd be happy. Okay, now anger bot. Uh barrier is still active. We could I suppose go for like a fail save 50/50 the shutdown um but by the same token him making noise isn't so bad, right? Do we have... What kind of cover are we in? Not the greatest. I hope it's worth it. Let's take full here, and then uh, we'll just do a little zap. Okay. 
Okay, now... How should we handle this? Oh! Beautiful. We're gonna come up and we're going to rocket launch. Can't hit both. Can't hit both. Can I hit? Yes. You know what? Let's do this. That hits both. Hits the car. Makes more noise. We want that. I don't know, man. I really enjoy these missions. I just think they're a fun change of pace. Like, they're totally wacky. It's a whole different objective. And I actually, I actually like when there's Lost because it just gives us, there's just more to play around. Whereas if there's not any Lost, then we're just getting a couple crates, hopefully, and getting out, you know? But this at least lets us kind of seem like we're making cool moves. They tag one really far back. And this one too, I just noticed. I'm not sure. Uh, Toaster can probably reach that. So the follow-up here is that we're going to be doing uh, flashbangs. Which should prolong... Our success. Because they should start missing more shots, which means uh, the loss should last a little bit longer. Starting to see, like, some of these units, that advanced assault, whatever that was. A lot of armor, untouchable, like... These units are scary. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Medicine 1-5. That's probably the most crates I've ever gotten in one of these missions in one turn. In the history. Go toaster, go toaster, go. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Um, we do have to be considering now uh, how we're going to get out of here. We have... Where is it? Uh, on Angerbot, we do have Disruption Field, so that's probably the play. We could have her snag this kill. Wouldn't mind getting that loot possible. I think we'll just overwatch here. Covering now. Oh, we're actually further out than I thought with that. So Damper Field is a completely free action? I like that.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna rush him up here. I think we'll just Overwatch with Drac. We don't have the kill zone variant. Uh, I mean, it's an option. His other option is taking the flank shot there. We'll take this. Ooh, that's a lot of robots. Whoa. Okay. That sectopod hunter could absolutely demolish. Oh, that would have been huge. That sectopod hunter could demolish our mechs. Double overwatch. Hopefully the loss can break this. Okay. He did get Posada in there. There we go. The bar is closing. Okay, guys. There's plenty of zombies to shoot. Just throwing that out there. Oh my god! Whoa. That is changing things. Holy frick. Oh my god. The Archon King. 100, 120 health, 5 armor? Okay. That's officially game on. I don't think he's active, thankfully. Oh, that's a bit that's a bit rough. And he's using us as cover, shooting his own cover. Snipe. Holy, dude. Heavy mech needs to shoot twice. Angerbot, we probably zap the Sectopod Hunter. I think we have one more. One. Sounds like two. Other thing is, we could try tagging that ruler. It's gonna be hard though, because it's really far back. Depends how greedy we feel here, because we're also going to have the reinforcements to deal with. I don't see any crates further back in there, though, so the, the positive is I think we're going to be able to pull out somewhere else. Okay. Okay. Secto Hunter here. So there's only four boxes left. Where are they? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, where are they? I'm 
We might have to wait. We might have to just wait and see where they get tagged. I'm going to assume probably back in here would be a good guess. Oh, there's one. Yep. Okay. Maybe I just go straight for it. And there's another one right beside it. That's actually a great position. And there's one up here. Okay. So there's three. Where's the fourth? Potentially could be up top as well. Oh, there it is. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> I can't... Guys, I don't want to get too excited here. There is a possibility that we are going to get every one of these. Do I have blue screens? Yep. Ooh, my insides! My insides. I actually don't know if this is even that valuable here. I gotta get hit that one dude, but I kind of need to wait for that other group. I'm gonna damper field here. And we'll tag this new group. Ooh, is that hitting toaster? Shit. <laughs> okay. I mean, hopefully it's not the end of the world. I think we can take this guy down. I don't have the double shots. Okay, hold up. If I come in here, we rage strike. Still have to follow up. With something else. So much armor here. Huh. What's going to be the best for us? If he hits the 66, then we don't have any problems, you know? I guess we could try that. Oh! And an explosion on top of that. Okay, now. We'll go for the rage. Yeah, so he's like the, he's the run and gun build. Um, armor. Mobility. Zone of control. And then we can suppress. We only need one damage. I need this mech to not get overconfident and move towards our team. 
Nice. Okay. This guy might get shields up again. Drac has uh, Covering Fire, I believe. It's too bad it doesn't go off before the action. Holy crap. Part of me is really hoping that Ruler just kind of runs in there and we can tag it. Nice. Landed all of them. Untouchable, sweet. That's actually a cool combo with untouchable and uh, kinetic plating. Whoa, that dude. Hitting like a truck. If these guys do hit the codex, we're probably going to have like a billion of them. There's another group. There's the king. It's close. I think I might go for this. I hope I got it in the right spot there. Oh, it's like in between. Not sure. Uh, I don't know if we got it. Okay, Toaster. Yo, did that guy... I thought there were 10. Maybe I miscounted. But I wonder if that explosion up here blew that box up. I wasn't really watching for that. You can go for the disorient here. Prevent the splitting. Friendly? Oh, it's hitting the box. It's hitting the box. Do something like that. Okay. think that's super crucial there. One down, thousands to go. We're green to go. Now the only reason I'm not leaving right this second 
is I'm sort of waiting to see if we tagged that ruler. Oh, damn. I mean, we could take these shots, I guess. We'll take one and then we'll reload. Go on this strong guy. Just because one of our guys is tagged, so... If I run it... Okay, so another thing we need to consider here is I need to keep these guys all within range of uh, a Sky Ranger. It's probably okay if I were to run and gun down here. We're actually getting quite a bit out of this mission. Whoa, what was that? Oh, not a sec bot hunter. Okay, okay, okay. I don't love that. Uh, I can't tell if he's tagged or not. There's the icon, but I don't know if it's like... Probably feels good. Probably feels good. Incoming fire. Forty five percent, eh? That's how it is. Yeah, they should kill him this round. The only Overwatch I think we need to remember is the... Oh, the Codex. Because I didn't think he would actually be able to see anything through here. I'm pretty surprised that the uh, ruler has not popped out yet. Nice. It's actually another nice thing about that. Oh, here we go. I think the Archon King is tagged. I think they're tagged. That is very interesting to me. Because we can get some damage in. Okay, um, we're going to keep fighting, I think. 
combat protocol recharge time is going to take forever, understandably. 30%. I mean, it, I mean, might be worth a shot. But we got two 50s here at, with blue screens. If one of them lands, I'd be very happy. Sick. And she's got that, like, super shredding on the gun. Oh, God. Nice shooting, anger bot. Insane. Okay. Uh, do I even want to hit any of these guys? They're all tagged. This guy's not, so I guess we could take this. Uh, what kind of cover is he on? This beam, I don't think we can get rid of that. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Should just be overwatching. Let's come back here. Okay, so I guess kind of what I'm thinking is... If I could get fire on the ruler, that would be huge. But I kind of want to have it be a reaction, if at all possible. I'm going to bring Lopez way back here. Very curious to see how this goes down. Oh. <laughs> nice little laser grenade. Not loud enough to provoke the loss. I don't think I have any more uh, explosives, really. Okay, so the Archon King, 7 to 10, 75 aim. Has shields. Has armor. I should put down our evac, because I'm definitely not moving from this spot. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Stun lance failed. Okay, so they are clearing a lot out here, but... There we go. This is the King's Overwatch. He's still full health. <laughs> that is cool. That's a cool gun. Did you see the turn timer flicker on the uh, loot there? It did it again. That's cool. I wonder if I should strategically have uh, Lopez and... and uh, Toaster together so that we can kind of maximize damage on the reaction shots. Optical system 
you know, when they do land and stuff. Not disoriented now, so he is going to clone. Get him. There you go. Hostile target eradicated. Poster's still pretty tanky here. So the only way that this would be better right now is if uh, Toaster wasn't tagged. That would be so nice. Oh, come on. That brute, too. Just staring at him. Okay. Damperfield is faded. All right, fine. Good to go. Thirty-eight only. Is that my range? Yeah. Oh my god! All right, all right. We're hitting. Again, I don't I don't even know if I should be doing this. I don't think so. I don't think I should be. I just assume we were gonna miss that. Uh let's do this. Let's put this down. So that it's ready. This is a fear of archons here too, so if the chosen shows, that could be a problem. There's also another archon, I think. So maybe, maybe I'll just get Raptor Squadron out to prevent any type of bad scenarios from happening. Uh, we can Lightning Strike the Lancer. He's not tagged. No life signs present. I'll head to this spot above the king. Uh, we'll throw this down since we're not going to be moving. More reinforcements in three turns. He has so many good options. That's not one of them. Minions, eh? He got two there. That's the shield bearer, I believe. Nice. Come on, Brute. Go! This guy was still holding rockets.
Good job, Lopez. You the man. You the robot. Okay, we all miss sometimes, buddy. Yeah, see, Toaster's starting to get a little bit surrounded. Speeding it up to see if we can get through it. No, I think it's stuck. Okay, give me one second. Okay. We're going to have to do a couple of those things again, Let's unfortunately. But maybe what we'll do is instead of taking this shot, we'll just... uh. Overwatch these guys. We do want to bring this in. Overwatch Drac. And then these guys, we were going to bring down here. Somewhere. We'll do it this way. Oh, I, I could have... Uh, <laughs> I forgot to lightning strike the Lancer. Oh well. Hostile threat destroyed. Okay, let's do something like this. We'll stack our two sparks together. Scanning for targets. Old dirty posters. Oh, we got the burn damage. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. That's crazy. Okay, so he's coming up for pinions. He's gonna kill those two. Good. Shield bearer overwatch. King comes in. Blasty, blasty. This variation of the Archon must surely Damn it. No, he did not. Subject, Dr. Had been okay, that's helpful. I just want to be able to see him because I do want to drop down there and get some damage over time on him, if possible. Just hit his own. He hit the Archon King. Huh. I think he shredded something for us. That's amazing. Now we need to get through this lost turn here. Come on. Let's go, game. You can do it. I have 100% faith in you. So satisfying. A when it lands and B when it kills. Okay, brute. Focus on other stuff, man. There we go. Ruler reactions this is gonna get messy. I'm not sure what it did. All of these guys are going to start swarming this way, because that's where the only tags are. This mech not actually tagged. Oh, 
Okay. I wonder if I should get Draco too. We don't have a uh, med kit, one hit, and Drac's probably post. Also, not contributing a whole bunch from up here. Oh, that was awkward. I don't know if you guys had that audio skip there. Okay, I thought this was expired. Moving. Huh. Okay. Men's Sana, advanced scope, advanced speed, data pad. What is this? That is fascinating. Please don't miss. Nice. And poisoned. Oh, this is actually huge for us. This is actually huge. Uh, this guy, yes, is another target, but he's not tagged. Unfortunate that we can't see our mech. Oh yeah, untouchable frick. Nice shots. Oh my god. And the shredding. Oh yeah, we also placed that defensive mine before, didn't we? We'll throw that out. Beautiful. Nice, we'll take that. Put that in the bank and smoke it. That's what they say, right? That's how it works. Now, we could go for, like, a disorientation. I don't know if I necessarily want to get that close. Yeah, what he said. Okay, the armor is a problem. Uh, the only way I can deal with that, really, is having uh, Angerbot hit the king. King might be in trouble, surrounded by all the fire, has the poison. We are going to have more reinforcements coming in, too. Well played, actually. Pure fire, that was nice. I mean, I think he's going to take some shots at us here. No, he will not. I wonder if Angerbot can see this.
Let me see it. This would be so much different if the, if that bug out wasn't nerfed. Because we could be getting all those extra actions in and just pummeling this ruler, but... Cool. Oh, headshot. Getting that burn damage, it's really good. Uh oh. That's a problem. I don't know if he's a bot, like, I'm pretty sure Devastate's gonna go through both levels. But. We see it here, but maybe these guys are okay. If the ruler sees them... Sensors indicate reinforcements on approach. Oh. Okay, so hold up. I think these guys are technically out of view of this. I don't know why I'm going with the bash. Shouldn't be. Uh, we can use the bash here because we need less damage. But basically the idea is that we're moving away from those, so I'm not sure the radius. And then I feel like, even if I reload here, it's going to be a problem. I think they're immune to being disoriented as well. I think. May Actually, rulers, maybe not. Let's put this on and see what happens. This is going to trigger the Devastate. Yes, okay. That's right, okay. Now, the hope is that the King doesn't come towards our squad. That's the real concern. I don't know. I, I feel like we should still keep fighting this. There's no Overwatch stuff. These shots are so bad. Icarus drop. Yeah, see, that's another thing. Picks us up and slams us. I just don't know if, if how much I can bank on it not coming over here. It is disoriented, so movement-wise should be impacted. We could take the, uh, the one damage. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Well, okay. Triggers the burning. Let's see where it goes. It's a little closer. Oh, it hit! Holy crap. The burn again. It's gonna be out of burning soon, I think. Okay. Very tempting to take that. Uh, just Overwatch. Holy crap. 
Things are getting real intense. Uh, this might be our time to evac here. Getting pretty low on Lost. Mind you, these guys might throw some new explosives. Wow, coming in hot. Gonna go for the whack attack. Oof, 11. Holy crap. It always catches me off guard when they land one of those, how strong it is. It's insane. Ooh, that disorient, man. Psy bomb. Annoying, but not really a huge problem. I'm just wait. I'm just. I'm just. I'm trying to push this as far as I can. Okay, I'm trying to push it, but I'm also scared that we mess something up. We still have reboots on both of our sparks. Nice. Speed this up. Looks like he's like finishing an animation. That guy is moving. There we go. Get going. At least there's movement here, but slow. Is that good? Oh! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we at? The Sectopod Hunter could ruin our dudes. Big time. Um. Come on. We're gonna go for the disorientation here. Oh, okay. Disorientation removed. They're counter striking. He's whacking. Oh boy. Uh, let's lightning strike this. Wait, does do we have a shot with Angerbot? Not from there, but maybe from here. She has a lot of mobility. If this lands, it's it's massive. To get rid of some of that armor. Damn it. Now oh devastate, okay. I was worried that the Archon King may have gone for uh, a slam attack there. Didn't, however. Oh, Charles, I forgot that we evac'd you. Thankfully, no fear triggering just yet. 
Masato, I think that's maybe going to hit. Okay, can I can strike this Archon. I think I'm just going to move up and do a little reload. I think that's going to trigger the Devastate, right? Yep. Oh, it went back to a pretty bad position, actually. Oh, that's good. That's better. That's better. That's better. Uh, I'll take this, hopefully. Land it. Sick. Oh, imagine if there was no armor. Forty-four. We'll pass on that. Reload lunchbox. Oh, frick. I always forget that. I always forget that. He might call a gate soon. Oh, boy. Whew. That all you, got? you know what? <laughs> uh, I might just end the turn so it doesn't get to do anything else. And I, I think we should look to get our guys out now. Sparks can kind of fight till the death. Or the pre-death. But if that king comes in and swoops, grabs somebody, brings them up, slams down, we're in big trouble. I feel like this is where Lopez goes down. Oh, didn't attack. Uh, the new mech that's in could potentially bring some more lost here. Nope. Wait, is that the new one? I think there's another one. Yeah, there is on the left. Remember we had that mission where the sex bot hunters were the security forces? And there was like six of them, and then I think it was a ruler in the middle. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I think we got to get Angerbot out now. I actually can't believe how much damage we've got from basically burning damage, burn damage over time. Okay, so Lopez sustains here. That's good. I got hiccups. I'm so excited.
Okay. Anger bot. We're gonna go. On it. Evac confirmed. Uh, Lopez. Overdrive. Oh, I was like, where's the icon? I was like, am I blind? Okay. So we're down to toaster. I think I'll take our other two out here as well. Oh, it is leaving. Alright. Well, that's good. These guys are still pretty far away. I think we will just leave. Especially with Archons on the board here. Charles could have had a meltdown. All right, now it's Operation Toaster. Jeez, these reinforcements that came in here have been heavy, man. Lots of sectopods, lots of mechs. I think this is the most kills I've ever seen a purifier get. Now I'm talking the history of purifiers. So, Toaster's already at max rank. I don't think we actually gain a whole lot from... Staying. I'm pretty confident we should just leave now. And then, if, if he doesn't take any damage this round, he's not even going to need repairs because his shield didn't even get used. We're not getting corpses from this anyway, so... Really, the, the enemies that come in with, like, four or five armor, that's so intimidating and very hard to chew through. But Angerbot made armor look like a joke, honestly. Crazy. Okay, we're gonna get Toaster out. It's been real. That was that was actually really fun. Really enjoyable. The fact that the ruler was there, that added a nice little on top, you know? Love that. Toaster, MVP, obviously. 171 damage. Uh, Angerbot, six for 10, 74 damage. Very insane. Lunchbox, three for five. 24 damage, all the tagging. Drac, 4 for 5, 33. And Raptor Squadron, 6 for 7, 48. Lopez, new spark, 4 for 7, 26. Nice job. They said it couldn't be done. Can't get all those, all those crates. Unless you have sparks. <laughs> oh, man. This season. 
What a gong show. In so many ways. So many ways. Absolute gonger. Last season, Psionics. Absolute nut fest. This season, Sparks. Soon to be Psionics, however, uh, we have a lot of weird gems. And uh, we have to invest a lot of money to get these guys where they need to be. So, yeah. Here we go. That was good, man. I'm very excited to see what the total is going to be. Bad enough between the elders, nice. their alien armies, and the chosen. Now we've got zombies to deal with. So we got Codex Brain, 300 supplies basically, 100 alloys, 50 Illyrium crystals. Cleanse negative mental effects on a distant ally. Ooh, zero turn cooldown. Very strong. Uh, the scope and the speed were really nice. Oh! I just realized, you know how the thing expired and we saw the flickering between three and two turns? That's because there was a double loot drop stacked on top of each other. That's exactly why that happened. And that's why when it expired, there was still one left that we could grab. So that's, yeah, anyway. Anyways, huge. Huge. Very happy we did that. So I was thinking, eh, maybe we don't need it. It's not a huge priority. Here we are. Uh, okay. So we can't do any of these upgrades, for one thing. I need I need more power. I could take an upgrade in here to get me two power. Power relay upgraded. And then I gotta wait for this. That's that's it. That's it. I do wonder if maybe I should be. Maybe I should put a gremlin in here. 150 supplies. Uses the two power that we just took. Workshop facility upgraded. Okay, so Rue, I'm gonna empty this. You're gonna go in here. We're gonna put a gremlin in instead. And then we'll just staff this gremlin here so it's ready to go. Oh, I guess one thing we could do is we could be researching uh, PCSs right now. 14 days. It's a long time. Unstaffed scientist. Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. And then we need this. Okay. Uh, wait. What did that say? Yeah, gallops. I need seven. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be a bit. Poor pal can go here. I might actually go back to scanning for, uh, at the Skirmisher HQ. Because that does impact excavations as well. Um, new month means we're gonna reduce Avatar project. So... Let's hit that. Setting course for the Mexican regional draft. Then we'll have new covert actions to send people on. Our cooperation has okay, sweet. A boom to the resistance. Okay. The domination gem out here on Hopper. Now that we need it, we have, we have one, but. It's something for our kernels to do. This is actually, I just realized, like, this is actually a really nice thing to consider. Um, because this, you have to send a kernel out. There's not really a lot of things I'm going to use these kernels for. Uh, if I have majors and captains, right? Because I want to build those guys up. So this is... It's cool because it gives us usage still of a group that would normally just be sitting here. Plus that nice little health bonus. Don't have to worry about capture. There's no uh, chosen here. There's a chance of a wound, but we can deal with that. Just 
Just looking at if anybody's real close. In promotions. Double Z. Yes, but we should probably keep her. Alright. Zapper. Let's go disguises. Eight days, nine hours. Eight days, seven hours. Eight days, one hour. Okay, so that's actually more than the shotguns. Eight days, one. Seven days, 23. Um, curious for your guys' thoughts, but I'm thinking it would be nice to have kind of like a, an optimized button, you know, for like, of all the of all the inventory I have, what's gonna lower the infiltration the most, right? And then it'll just auto equip this stuff. I think that would be kind of nice. Seven days for this. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. Probably could have done that a long time ago, but. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen oh, now. I knew I clicked it too soon, Commander. That your recent efforts have proven to be so <laughs> mediocre. Bro, are we watching the same thing? Ooh. Chance to return fire against missed shots. Okay, well, we just can't miss. We're going to be up close for majority of our shots anyways, at least currently. Uh, that could be a problem in the Chosen Chamber, though, I'll tell you that much. Okay, Spider and Fly, fine. Advent builds emergency care centers for Exalt, enabling Exalt soldiers to get back to the fight faster. Yeah, that's fine, too. Collectors, double down to hunt. Commanders, looking to capture. I think that's fine. And then, uh... World checkpoints, supplies. Um, I don't mind any of those. Okay. We're gonna keep the block of Avatar progress. We're going to take the Battle Madness here instead of the Armor and Vest project. PCS is increased, yes. The only other one I'd like to squeeze in here is this. And I think uh, we can reduce the... Or not worry about the Chosen Knowledge so much right now. Take the additional contacts. Uh, actually, let me think about this. Maybe I should keep this for now. I think we still have space to make contact. Um, yeah. I'm going to need a whole bunch of in intel... To be able to make contact more, so... This one could actually be good for us at the moment, but we'll keep these. Yeah, I think this is good. Infiltrate is active again. 420 supplies. Let's hit it. Uh, we could look at the black market to maybe spend some of our intel. Alloys and crystals there. I'm glad to see our joint effort okay, Stronghold is located. To find bit of on these Munitions experts. Keep this up, Commander. Uh, it's actually, it's pretty nice. If you've got something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some Raid the Advent orders. Train. Oh, actually kind of tempting. It's Exalt and Congregation. So 13 enemies detected, but Exalt. And possibly the assassin. Um, but uh, more economy as well. Okay, Red Dawn. Phosphorus, so we can damage mechanical units and shred. That's uh, very strong. Anti-armor is also good, but this can hit more things. Two ablative plating miss shots increase shielding by two. I think I'm gonna take phosphorus here. Okay. I need eleven days on this. The adaptive PCS chips, I feel like that's taking a long time. 
You know what? I am going to actually remove this scientist from here. We'll just build those PCSs slower. I want them all to just be researching now. Okay, before we scan... What else? Reduce progress, for sure. Okay, Curietti. Hmm. It did not unequip squad. So we have a wound chance. Uh, who do we want to buff health of? Trell, I kind of want to have available for big missions. But she is very, very fragile. 14 days without Trell. I think we can handle it. We're going to play the, the long game here. Okay, Verducci there, meld, AP, corpses. Huh. With dedicated time and equipment, we can clear the side zone of the psionics lava to reduce cost by 50%. Gollop psionics construction. So, clear the side zone of the psionics lab. So I'm thinking that's this. That's the upgrade that we actually want. But I mean, the cost is not that big of a deal. Look at this. The cost is fine. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. It's the power. Unless it means the like clearing the actual um, room beside it, but that's not the way I'm reading that. Superior weapon upgrade would be good. PCS would be good. Uh, m maybe, but I don't want to use a card for that. Hyper Vital Module Construction. Um, do I need that? I don't really use it. But I feel like, you know, maybe it's just one of those things we just get and then... You know, it's any soldier. A little bit of hacking there. I do need to send a scientist, however. Okay. Uh, PCSs. A sergeant with dodge. Do we give this to our phalanx? I think so. And Guardian here. That looks good. Wounded is okay. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Superior weapon upgrade. Because that spider and fly is probably going to kick in soon. And that's... While it's only the assassin, still, you know. Uh, this is health. So... Reactor? I think so. Uh, who are you bonded with? Thorn Dagger Vein. This does speed up the, uh, the duration, but... Oh, wait. Uh... I thought... When they were bonded, it reduced infiltration time. I could be wrong. But either way, I don't think it's worth using him up for that. I'll order my people to get underway immediately.
Um, Hyper Vital. This is another health one. We do want it. Let's do AP first. Hacking plus three. I got double Z, but do I have enough tech specialists? That's the question. No, not at the moment. Let's put Dylan in here. Maybe I don't want to do a scientist one. I just want to keep my research going as fast as possible here. Could go and gather some meld. It's not a huge deal. But I can put a couple squatties in. Four sergeants, you know, whatever works. Uh, will wise. Maybe bow? I don't know if I have any more. No. Gilleth. Rohash. Let's go Gilleth here. Alright. Okay, we're good. I don't think I'm going to do the train raid. And just get our supplies safely here. New infiltration. Okay, alloy padding. You know what? Yeah, we can infiltrate this. Stealth insertion. Sky Ranger cannot arrive to pick up the squad until the area has been completely cleared. Okay, so there's a moderate chance of that hitting. Sewers, relay. Interesting. Very interesting. Bring these two out. Let's bring our Reaper in the tunnels. I like it. Should we do a little, um... Where's our... Oh, she's still on that covert action. I was gonna say, we should do a little, uh... Keeper... Spark combo. Need to get a Marine in here. Taking kind of like a mid high level squad maybe I take Boltos or I bring Toaster for the safety we still need promotions though so we don't know the enemy type that's one cool thing about infiltrating makes things a little bit more challenging let's go with the damper field here laser grenade I'm good Go gauntlet. Whoops. Gauntlet two. Uh, we still need to research the other weapons, the other armor. We're actually we have a we have quite a bit of stuff to do. We have quite a bit of stuff to do. Blue screens, blue screens. I'm good with that. Quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit of things. Either way. Can 
concealed crit scope I'm good with there. Now, uh, with the Tempest Gauntlets... What do we want to put in here? We definitely want to use... Where is it? Phase Walk. Phase Walk's amazing. Not reliant on Psy Strength. Blend is for Concealment. Kinetic Pillar. Panacea. Heals an ally in the ally's body and mind with Psionic Power. Acid Ball's good. Disarm and Stun Enemies. Cleanse Mental Effects on a Distant Ally. Now, we have that card that's only... Uh, mental Afflictions are only lasting one turn, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. Disable could be good. Let's take these two. Beam Auto Pistol there. Here's our Concussion Grenades. Disorient and stun enemies in a large area. Weak objects and structures damaged and destroyed. Okay. Tell you what. Take a flashbang. Stargrave, we'll try a concussion grenade. Exosuit here, I think, is fine. Go rockets, mag shorty, talons. Uh, I think talons is pretty good. I'm just considering whether or not we would rather have blue screens. Nah. Let's keep it at this. Okay. Let's infiltrate. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. So pretty much all these assault missions we can just ignore. Yeah, the rural checkpoints. Annoying. <laughs> Actually. This would decrease all of our supply drops forever. We have ways to get money um, via selling stuff, doing some of those other missions. How long is this until it expires? Does this not expire? Oh, wait. Oh, this is a uh, Hunt the Chosen chain. Okay, my bad. So this is going to stay here. This is going to stay here. Okay. I feel like that's not bad. Assassin will definitely be there. Exalt. And then some of those other problems. I guess I'm just a little bit stuck on if I should try countering this as well. The good news is, okay, Assassin maybe shows, sure. Uh, lost are there though, so we could, we could tag units. Heavy mechs, howlers, advanced paladin bio bursters, codex, destroyer, specter, lancer. Hmm. Maybe we do try and counter this. I only have I only have eleven people ready, so that's honestly a little bit concerning, especially because that retaliation counter was reduced by two weeks. So who would we take here? I mean, we have we have decent squads here. Like, I'll bring Toaster for protection. Uh, Schmidt can join us. Pale Rider. Combat Engineer. J6 has been out for quite a while. Uh, Marine. And maybe Suave. Let me build out the squad. 
Okay, I've got us ready. So we're taking out Toaster, Musion, Pale Rider, Red Dawn, Rhino, and Suave. Predator armor across the board. Rage suit on Pale Rider. Uh, we've got the heavy vest on Musion for extra armor. We've got the regen vest on Pale Rider. Uh, Mikami, we could actually go hazmat vest. I think that's fine there. Flashbangs, uh, extra lost lures. EMP bombs. I don't have any acid grenades, so we're not going to get any benefits from concentrated corrosives. Uh, heat grenades. Uh, I'm fine with this. We can hit any of the robotics with those EMPs. That'll be quite helpful. Uh, we've got Miller with blue screens. Suave with blue screens. Med kit. And then I think that's good. Uh, Rhino's a little bit light here. I think maybe we'll go a vest instead. Now that I've given it the, the once over. Uh, and I've given Pale Rider the uh, the extra speed. So he's getting plus three speed here. Uh, which I think will be quite nice. This is not going to be an easy mission. There are lost, which is great. Um, I hope the assassin is not there. That would not be as great. And 25 enemies could be interesting. Some of those are lost, yes. But we'll see how it goes down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.